got an exam walkthrough of a past OCR proton NMR question. So before we look at the spectrum, we'll just remind ourselves of the essentials we, we must include when we're talking about an NMR spectrum. So four things there. The number of peaks obviously tells us the number of different hydrogen or proton environments in the molecule. The position of peaks tells us the type of proton environment. And there's just a snip of the um, data sheet, the proton NMR data sheet. The relative area tells us the relative numbers of protons in a given environment. That can also be referred to as the integration value. And finally, the splitting, that tells us the number of protons that are adjacent to or within three bonds of the proton causing the signal. So here's the spectrum. All we're told is that it's an ester with an MR of 164. So I don't know if you want to have a go at this yourself. Pause the video and then play on and I'll go through the answer. So the obvious thing to say at the start is because it's an ester, it must contain this functional group. There's the information from the data sheet. So the first peak I'm going to look at is this one here. So looking at the data sheet, we've got two options, OH or aromatic hydrogen. Well, OH has always appear as singlets, so it's got to be the aromatic hydrogen. So you can see the signal's quite messy. It doesn't fall into any particular sort of obvious. It's certainly not a singlet. It's not a doublet, triplet or quartet. So I'm referring to it as a multiplet. And hopefully you're aware of the fact that the specification doesn't require you to analyze the splitting patterns of aromatic protons, so we don't need to go into that. The fact that the area is five means that there are five protons in this environment, and so it means that we've got um, a C6H5 group in the molecule. So essentially, we've got a benzene ring with one um, hydrogen missing, and that's obviously going to be a substituent group. If the area was four, we would have a benzene ring with two substituent groups, and so on. So the next peak I'm going to look at is this one here. So you can see from the information on the data sheet, it's one of these environments here. Now, it can't be this one, um, even though we've just established that it has got a benzene ring. If it was this one, because the area is three, it would mean that we would have to have a CH3 group here and that's obviously finishing the molecule off. And that certainly isn't an ester, and it wouldn't have an MR of 164. So the most likely um, environment is this one here, which ties in nicely with the ester information. So we're going to go with that one. So it's an H to C to C double bond O, and you can see there I've said can't be benzene CH, as this would complete the molecule. The fact that it's a singlet is telling us there are no adjacent protons in a different environment. And the fact that the area is 3 is telling us that we've got a CH3 group. So what have we got in the molecule? We must have a CH3 bonded to a C double bond O. So any remaining hydrogens would be on this side here, which are too far away to cause splitting. So we're getting the singlet from this. So the next peak I'm going to look at is this one here. So looking at the data sheet, our options are these here. Well, the most likely one's going to be the, the other part of the ester group. We've already got this part sorted. So it's looking like carbon with hydrogens here, singly bonded to an oxygen. So HC to O environment. So the fact that it's a triplet means that there are adjacent CH2 group in a different environment to the ones causing the peak. And the fact that the area is 2 means that there are two protons in this environment. So it's looking like we've got a CH2 next to a CH2 that's then bonded to the oxygen. So that would be those red protons there are causing this signal. So we must have this feature in our molecule. So the final peak we'll look at is this one here. So you can see it's in this range again. Now we've already dealt with this one from the ester group and so the likelihood is it's going to be this type of hydrogen here so hydrogen bonded to carbon that's then bonded to a benzene ring because we have actually established that it is aromatic from the peak just above seven 
So this environment here, I'm calling benzene, then CH. So the fact that it's a triplet is telling us, just as before, with protons causing the peak are adjacent to a CH2 group. The area is 2, so there are two protons in the environment, so it is a CH2 group. And so we must have a benzene ring with a CH2 group attached and then a CH2 group adjacent. So putting that all together now, the structure of the ester looks like this. So the five benzene hydrogens, that's this peak here, remember. These two here is the green peak. And then the this part of the ester group, these ones here, that's that peak there. And then the isolated CH3 group on the other side of the ester bond are these ones here. And the final thing I've done is a quick check on the MR. So the molecular formula comes out at C10H12O2. So the MR is indeed 164.